So last week I had a patient come in to me with back pain, but also this patient wanted to lose weight. She was quite concerned as to how heavy she is, and she felt that this is also a contributing factor to her back pain, so we got to work. Now, the patient understandably wanted to make results really quickly, and it's actually one thing to note that patients or clients who make results quicker tend to carry on with the process. So a quick drop in weight can actually be associated with good long-term outcomes, not short-term outcomes as people may have previously thought. Now I just gave her two pieces of advice which have worked really well. One thing, I wanted to make her more accountable, so I just asked her to put everything in to the app MyFitnessPal. It tends to be that individuals who have an active process of so making themselves accountable for what they eat and clock what they eat on a day-to-day -day basis, they tend to correct their mistakes as they go on. But one piece of advice I gave her, which was just, I need you to eat something which is high in fiber before you eat breakfast and before you eat lunch. Now we negotiated, or we had a little bit of a consultation. It turns out that the easiest way to do this was to, uh, to make a massive, big, fresh fruit bowl at the weekend, and also to roast some Mediterranean vegetables or have a Mediterranean roasted, roasted vegetables uh, at the weekend ready to go for the week. Now, Research has shown that individuals who do this, individuals who preload on fiber before they eat, tend to consume on average 20% less calories after. Now this is a fantastic amount. If someone's on average consuming 3000 calories a day, it means they will automatically be consuming 600 calories less if they eat something high in fiber before um, each meal. She lost four and a half pounds in the first week. Now let's explain, ex explain why this is. First of all, there's two substances in high fiber foods which improve society. One is the fiber, because the fiber slows your digestion, keeps you fuller for longer. The second is the water. It tends to be that foods that are naturally high in fiber, not processed foods, but foods that are naturally high in fiber, also come with a lot of water. Water and fiber are hugely satisfying. That individual then feels so satisfied that they eat 20% less calories after that. But the good thing is that the individual feels fuller for longer. They feel more satisfied with their diet in comparison to when they were eating more processed foods which were in and out of their system before they knew it. She was also very, very optimistic because of how it made, made her feel. Now this is because naturally high fiber foods, i.e. plants, fruits and vegetables, are extremely high in micronutrients. Micronutrients are what is essential for health in the human body, such as vitamins and your minerals. So naturally by her feeling good, she was less likely to hit more dumps and uh, she was less likely to hit as many dumps. And by not hitting as many dumps, she then didn't feel like she needed to compensate by eating her way out of those dumps, which is a good thing. So she's done fantastically well, I'm very proud of her. She lost four and a half pounds in the first week. And we're looking forward to getting a move on by improving her health in the, in, in the long term and the short term future. Now, if you've got any questions about your health, all you need to do is either book a free consultation or just send us a message or send us a, a request for a video and I'll happily put one together for you. But the summary of this message is if you want an easy way to consume less calories but feel just as full, then have a high fiber side dish or starter before your breakfast and your lunch and preferably even your dinner. Thanks for watching.